Hey everybody, it's Mike. Welcome back to the van. Well, I'm just about to head out for a day trip here, but before I hit the road, I wanted to cover off something that I've been seeing a lot online lately. On Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, well, you know, all the basic, um, we know everything medias. Um, and that is many people have been advertising, I have the ultimate, and then you can fill in the blanks from there. Whether it be the ultimate off-grid home, whether it be the ultimate ambulance build, the ultimate school bus build, the ultimate van build, whatever it is, the alternative living build. And they're trying to sell you on exactly what they have. And this really, really annoys me because there is not one thing that's right for everybody. In fact, I would have to say that there's probably not one thing that's right for more than one or two people. Because everything that you get for the alternate lifestyle, like van living, ambulance living, school bus living, um, off-grid homes, or whatever it is, every time you get something that works for you, it's probably not going to work for other people because so many different things are in it. And what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, I've mentioned this before in my videos, that I don't have solar. I find no need at this time in my life to have solar. I know people out there who are going to need solar. If you want to stay parked at one area for any length of time, you're going to need solar. And now for me, I don't park out of one place for very long. And even if I do, I have enough battery capacity for what my needs are to power me for several days, if not weeks in the summertime and a couple days easily in the winter time. So I don't need that. So for me to sell that to you is ridiculous. Likewise, one of the big things that I see is people saying, well, my van is perfect for everything, but they haven't experienced everything. Perfect example, saw one the other day. This person was saying that their van was the ultimate expedition vehicle. Well, they even admit that they don't have air conditioning in it. Their heater is subpar. So they stay places where it's warm. So if you're going to travel in this vehicle, you're going to be traveling in a vehicle that's not made for the heat and not made for the cold. So it's obviously not the ultimate vehicle. Likewise, I don't have 4x4. I've said that many times. I don't see a need at this point to have 4x4. Maybe in the future, maybe I will get 4x4. Maybe I'll buy another van. Maybe I'll do something else. But at this time, I don't need a 4x4. So for somebody to say that you need a 4x4 or that you don't need a 4x4, is wrong and one of the big things that i see in a lot of these posts is that people are advertising or marketing or promoting themselves as being the ultimate this that and the other thing but then six months later they're telling you that their lifestyles changed and now this is the ultimate thing so please if you're getting involved in van life if you're getting involved in alternate living through an ambulance a school bus off-grid home building a cabin building a resort whatever it is that you're doing Please understand that, that build it for yourself. Don't build it for somebody else and don't fall for what they're trying to sell you. So let's hit the road here. We're going to go and explore a place called Wally's Beach. It's oh, east of, I shouldn't say east, it's west of Lethbridge, east of Cardston, Alberta. I got my directions mixed up. And it's actually a nice little beach area. It's really sandy out there. And in the winter time, I've been told that there's a number of people that go out there and they actually look for fossils out there because I guess that area is like the Serengeti of North America from many years ago. And they find all these different fossils out that way. So join me. I hope you enjoy the trip and we'll talk to you soon. Bye bye now. Well, welcome out to Wally's Beach. Um, the weather took a, quite a turn to the cold and the windy side on the way out here. Um, so I was planning on putting a kayak in today and doing some kayaking around here, but I think that plan has been changed because I don't want to get out on the water and then get stuck on the island just over here or get blown down the other side of the lake. So I'm going to just explore here a little bit. There's not a lot of people out today because of the temperature. I've only seen three other families out here 
and they were staying in the sheltered areas so it's definitely going to be a cooler day but it's still nice to be out here The reason the dam is here and this big lake is because this is the St. Mary's River Irrigation District and this water here flows all the way down towards Medicine Hat which is quite the feat when you think of how long ago it was done. Um, it irrigates a lot of land in this area and if it wasn't for the irrigation this area would be a desert. Um, the sand would probably be a little bit more uh, prevalent out in the prairies than it is because there's not a lot of moisture down here during the year. So irrigation is definitely the way to go to grow any crops. I was listening to one gentleman talk about all the bones that have been found in this area and from all the different creatures and everything and it's quite the fossil area just in here um, just below the surface and with the waves and with the uh, erosion that's happening that when they drop the water level every fall that they actually can find a lot of the bones easily because they've been exposed by the wave action and the water action during the year. Even with it being on the cool side, it's still nice to be here and just listen to the waves lap up on the shore. Um, I would say it's probably about 8 degrees Celsius, so it's not that warm right now. But the sun is starting to come through the clouds a little bit, and if you're out of the wind, it's actually not too bad. But when that wind picks up, boy, it's cool. So I've been out here exploring for quite a while now, did a hike up and down the beach. So now I'm heading back to the van, so I'm going to have some breakfast and head out and do some more exploring. So thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this little quick trip, and hopefully we can get out here and do some kayaking when the winds go down in the next few days. So talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day. Get out there and explore and enjoy the beautiful outdoors. Bye-bye now. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click on the like button, which is the thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when any new videos are uploaded. Thank you and have a great day.